today we're on Aftermath, and if you couldn't tell by the title, we are playing on Tala Market, which perhaps is my favourite Aftermath map. And uh, there are some improvements I would like to make to the map, and I guess that's what I'm going to try and talk about today, and how that can translate forward into Battlefield 4. So I'm going to start off by talking about a rumour. Now I don't usually comment on rumours, but this one got me particularly excited. And that is that Battlefield 4 is supposedly going to have dynamic weather on its multiplayer maps. Now for me personally, this would keep gameplay fresh, it would keep me engaged all the time, not knowing what weather was going to be on a specific map before I loaded into it. And I think if everyone else would feel that way as well. I think everyone would agree at the moment that certain maps in Battlefield 3 are pretty stale because there is just no variation. If you think about Operation Metro, outside it's always sunny. If it changed to rain, it might change the way that the game played and how different people interact with the map. So let's put this into terms of Battlefield 3. At the moment there's a mod out called the Free Cam for Battlefield 3, it's made by Blue Entertainment, links in the description. And uh, that mod enables you to place maps into a day-night cycle. Now this mod is mainly just sort of for machinimas and stuff like that, and I use it at the start of my videos sometimes. You probably saw it at the start of this video. But I think it would be great to see what different maps look like during the night and day for Battlefield 3, so we can get an idea about what it would be like in Battlefield 4. So in the background right now, I'm just going to put a couple of maps in rotation going from night to day or showcasing different parts of the map at different times of the day. So let's take the first one. We've got Karg Island here. And uh, Karg Island is another great rush map. I really like playing on this one. But it's always set during the day. Now, think about it if this was put into a dusk sort of setting. It would really bring the map alive a little bit more. Certain areas of the map would be harder to see, so gunfights would be a little bit more unpredictable perhaps. And then you've got the actual muzzle flash of guns being sort of effective, being able to see where somebody is, perhaps hiding on a hill or something like that. And certain aspects of the game could be brought out more, and the game could be made to make a little bit more beautiful perhaps, a little bit more exciting, not really knowing what's going to go on because the time has changed. And then if you bring in the rumour about Battlefield 4 having dynamic weather, think about it being sort of a dusk setting but it raining so the map becomes quite dull, quite heavy, so that firefights are quite sort of unpredictable even more and that you're not going to know where enemies are at all. For me, Rush on this map would become extremely fun if it was set in sort of more of a darker setting because shadows would be cast across the map so that enemies could hide or that you could sort of make flanking routes and people wouldn't even be able to see you. Much of the same here, we have Davavan Peak now. This is another one of my favourite Rush maps for Battlefield 3. But at the moment we know that the sun glare on this map is particularly powerful. But think about it again if this was put into a morning setting. It could sort of change the tone of the first two MCOMs. As we know, defenders sort of have the advantage in these MCOMs here because they're at the bottom of the hill and everybody can sort of see up the hill because it's illuminated by the giant sun. If it was set in the morning, perhaps the sun is further down in the sky, so a shadow is cast across that hill so that the uh, defending team can't see the attackers as well as they could have. So all of these sort of ideas are grouping together how sort of advantages could sway on the battlefield just by there being dynamic maps, and at the same time it keeps gameplay fresh. If you think about some of the maps in Battlefield 3 that don't get played that often, i.e. Death Valley or Tehran Highway, those maps are already set in the night and they're quite blue, so I don't really consider them real night maps. If they were sort of remodelled to have this sort of time night day setting, I think they would see a lot more action from the community. Think about certain elements of Battlefield 3 that aren't really used at the moment. We've got the IRNV scope. It doesn't get used because it's been nerfed to hell by DICE. If that thing was rebalanced because there were more night maps in the game available for you to use it on, I think we could start to see more attachments coming out rather than the normal heavy barrel and foregrip. I think these kind of ideas and sort of settings should go forward into Battlefield 4 because as we know it's going to be using the Frostbite 3 engine which is sort of Frostbite 2.5 but it's been much more powerful than the engine that's currently running Battlefield 3 so it's not like that this engine isn't capable of doing these kind of things. But anyway guys I want to know your opinion, do you think Battlefield 4 should have night and day maps with dynamic weather or do you think they should just keep it how we've got Battlefield 3 now with just static maps? I'm not really sure so let me know in the comments. But that is the end of the video today, thanks for watching guys, if you did enjoy don't forget to give it a like and comments are always appreciated, I do try and read as many as I can. But my name is Westy and I'll see you guys in the next video.